today I have decided to make a couple little projects and post them as quickly as I can so that we can do um, a little bit simpler, faster moving projects for Christmas so that we can give them as gifts. And this is a little set that I came up with. I call it Circle Circle. It's just a little circle inside a circle, basically, of crystal. It's a pretty little piece, and the pendant and the earrings match. They're very pretty, very elegant, and very easy and fast to make. So this is one that um, will be a really good little Christmas gift. So let's go ahead and look at what we're going to need to do this project. Okay, for, for this project, you're going to need wire cutters, a crimping tool, and a pair of scissors. You will also need some beading wire. I'm using soft flex, and you'll need about 20 inches of it, depending upon the length you want to make for your um, necklace. Then, you will need two ear wires, and I'm using little silver plated lever back ear wire. You will need a clasp. I'm using a little toggle clasp today. You will need two crimp beads. I'm using Beadalon size 2 crimp beads. And then we'll look at our beads and see what we need. We will also need, of course, a beading needle. I'm using a size 10 English beading needle. And you'll need about 3 yards of 8 pound fire line. 6 will work also. I just prefer 8. Now with our beads, this is completely optional. You can change your beads around however you want. I'm going to use a four millimeter bicone and two round crystals. Now with my crystals, this little black diamond crystal that I'm using is supposed to be a four millimeter, but it's really not. It's a little bit smaller than my four millimeter crystal. You can see it's just a tiny bit smaller, but two four millimeter will work fine. Also, you can use pearls, you can use anything that's round. You can also use a round in place of the bicone. You can use a pearl if you'd like, whatever you'd like, as long as you have two um, four millimeter rounds or you can use a three millimeter round also. That's fine. You can also use a three millimeter round in place of your bicones. You can change these beads out quite a bit. But what I am using is a four millimeter round, about a three and a half millimeter round, and a bicone, four millimeter. I am also going to use an 11-0 seed bead and just a few 15-0 seed beads, which is also optional, especially if you're going to use all four millimeter size beads, especially if you make this one around. You won't need the 15-0s. It's optional. And then um, you will also need, when we string, you'll need some 8-0s if you elect to use Eidos. This is all very, very optional. You can switch things around any way you want with this project. It works out fine. So let's go ahead and get started with okay, our first Okay, so we component. are going to start by threading about a yard of um, fire line onto our needle. It's a little excessive, but sometimes I'd rather have too much than not enough. So <clears throat> we're going to start with our um, black diamond little bead here, which is the like three and a half millimeter. So if you're going to use a three millimeter bead, start with it, but regardless if it's a crystal or a, a pearl or whatever you want, and you're going to thread eight of them onto your needle. Now, um, always use the smallest bead first. If you're gonna use a four millimeter round, it doesn't matter. You can, if both of them are four millimeter round, it doesn't matter. You can just start with either one. So thread onto your needle eight of your either three millimeter or four millimeter rounds and bring them all the way down to the end of your thread. Just leave a short tail. You won't need it, so just enough to kind of secure your beads with. And then we are going to sew back through the first bead we added. Hold on to it and the tail and pull your working thread around. Let's get a little bit closer. And now we're just going to sew all the way around these beads again, simply 
because we don't want to tie a knot in this. The knot will get in our way as we're working through these beads. So just um, sew back through all of the beads that you put on your thread. And they want to argue with me today. That's okay. I'll argue back. When you get to where your tail is, continue to sew around. Sew around about halfway past the tail, just so that our circle is secure enough to work with. It won't fall apart while we're doing our next step. Now I'm going to go about four beads away from my tail, like this. And this is where I will start my next step. So I'm going to pick up onto my needle another either three or four millimeter round in your first color, and then a four millimeter round in the second color, and then a three or four millimeter round in your first color, like this. And we're coming out of this side of the bead that we exited. We're going to go into the opposite side of it and we're going to pull the beads down, just like this. Then we're coming out of this bead right here. So we're going to go into the next bead on our base, pull our thread through, and then we will pick up another three or four millimeter round bead, and then a four millimeter round. And each unit has four beads, so we're going to share this bead. So we only need to pick up two. We're sharing this bead and this bead. So we're coming out of this one. We're going to go into the side bead of the first unit and then back down into the base bead. And we're just going to pull our thread through. Now these you don't want to pull real tight. There will be quite a bit of... Um, slack in between, or not slack, but just a little bit of thread you can see in between and that's okay. You don't want any slack, however, you don't want to pull them really tight or they'll dome instead of laying flat. We don't want this piece to dome, we want it to lay flat. So now we're coming out of this bead here, we're going to go into the next base bead, like this, pull our thread through, pick up a three or four millimeter round of our first color, and our second color, four millimeter round. We're going to share this bead and this bead. So we're going to come into the side unit, or the side bead of the previous unit and the base unit that we're exiting. Like this. And we're just going to work all the way around doing this. Coming out of this bead now, we'll go into the next base bead. We will pick up another of our first color bead and another of our second color bead. And we will, we're exiting here, we're going to go into the side bead of the previous unit and the base bead that we're exiting. And pull. And just work your way all the way around. When we get to the last unit, I'll be back. Okay, so I have worked my way all the way around until I have one base bead left here to um, finish off my circle. So I'm going to go, I'm coming out of this bead right here after finishing my last unit. So I'm going to go through this base bead. And this time I'm going to go up into this side bead. We're going to use these three beads, this one, this one, and this one, for our last unit. So we're going to crawl up into the side bead here. We're going to pick up our second color, four millimeter round, and then we're going to travel over to this bead here and the base bead. And pull through and draw it together. Now we need to secure this last, pe this last one. It's spread apart, you can see. So now we will travel up we're coming out of the base bead, we're going to travel up the side bead again. Pull. Then we'll go ahead and go into the top bead that we added. 
just like this. And here we are going to begin doing our next step. So we are going to pick up two 11 0 seed beads and then our first color, either three or four millimeter round bead. And then two 11 0 seed beads, like this. Let me back off just a little. I'm just a little too close here and I can't stay in frame. So now <clears throat> I'm coming out of this little top bead and I'm going to, and I've put onto my needle two 11 O's, my first color, either three or four millimeter, and two 11 O's. I'm coming out here. I am going to just go into the opposite side of the same bead, just like this. And pull. And then. I'm going to pick up, now here it's optional, especially if you're using a four millimeter round. You can pick up a 15-0 or not, a bicone crystal or a round, and a 15-0. Now if you wanna just use, if you wanna exclude the 15-0s, that's fine, it works fine. So we're going to go from this bead to this bead now with our 15-0s and our bicone. And pop them down in between the two beads like this. Just like that. And then we're going to pick up two 11 0 seed beads, our first color three millimeter or four millimeter round, and two 11 0 seed beads. We're coming out of this side of our crystal. We're going to avoid the 15 0 on this side and go into the opposite side that we're exiting in the same crystal. Just like that. And now we're exiting the crystal. We'll pick up a 15-0, a bicone, and a 15-0, like this. We'll travel from this bead to this bead. And pop it down in there. Then, let me get readjusted here. My tail is in my way. Then I'm going to pick up two 11 O's. And my first color round and two 11 O's. And now I am coming out here. I'm going to avoid the 15 O and go on into the opposite side of the same crystal and pull. Now I'm going to pick up a 15 O seed bead and a bicone crystal and a 15 O and travel over to my next crystal. We'll continue doing this exact same step all the way around. When we get to the last one, I will be back. Okay, so I have worked all the way around my entire piece, except for the very last crystal here. So I'm going to pick up two 11 0 seed beads, and then my first color, three or four millimeter round, and two 11 0 seed beads. I'm coming out of this side of my crystal I'm going to go into the opposite side and pull my beads down. And then it looks too small, but you can still get a bicone in there. So pick up your 15-0 if you're using them, and a bicone or a round, whatever you're using, and a 15-0. And we're just going to, we're coming out of this crystal here, we're just going to slide into the next one. And then we're going to go ahead and include as we slide through, go ahead and include the 15-0 on the other side of it and pull the crystal down until it pops in between. It takes a little bit of manipulation on the last one. There we go. Now we got it. Now. I'm coming out of this little 15-0 on the other side of my crystal. I'm going to go ahead and go through the bicone, the 15-0, and the crystal, and this crystal here. And I'm going to exit the crystal without going through the 15-0 on the other side. And tangle my thread again. Oh, maybe not. Okay. All right. Now, 
we're going to go on the other side of this little 15 ohm. See, we didn't exit through it. We're just right above it here. And we are going to crawl up into the two 11 ohms right above it. Now, let me turn my work. Sorry, I have to turn my work over. My right hand is not there and I can't do it. So I'm coming up these two little 11 ohm here. And then I'm going to come through the crystal on top. Turn my work back over. And now I'm going to pull my little um, last layer that I made down. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to just come out. I'm coming out of this top crystal. I'm going to pick up an 11 ohm seed bead. And I'm just going to go into the next crystal. Avoid the 11 ohms and everything next or around it or whatever and just pull a little 11 ohm between the two crystals just like this. And then we'll pick up another 11 ohm. We will go into the next crystal right here, just the crystal, and pull. At this point, I am going to just pull them tight. I'm going to turn my work over and I'm going to cut off my tail. I'm going to cut it a little bit no, oh, I'll just cut it flush. There we go. You can cut it a little far away and then um, use a lighter to seal it, but I don't have the lighter with me. so. And now I'm going to pick up another 11 ohm. I'm coming out of this crystal here. I'm going to go into the next crystal. And we're just going to do this all the way around, just putting 11 ohm between the top crystals in our last layer. And just pull them tight. Sometimes you have to arrange it a little bit. Then just go into the next crystal. And as I do it, I'll bend them over and pull them into place. And then I'll grab the next crystal, put 11 out between them. bend it over and pull it into place. It gets easier the further along you get. The first few kind of argue with you. It's not difficult, it's just argues with you a little bit. Go into the next crystal and pull it down like this and then pick up another 11 ohm. Go into the last crystal Pull it up, pick up another 11 ohm, and avoid the little 11 ohm on this side and go into the first crystal we started with. Like this. And that's what you should have. Now we're just going to sew all the way around all of these beads we just added to make our top layer nice and tight. So just go, you're coming out of this crystal here, just go into the 11 ohm and the next crystal and the next 11 ohm. And um, I do not know why everything's arguing with me today. <laughs> ah, maybe I should go back to bed. And just sew through all of them, all the way around the entire top layer here. You get to where you started, just go a couple beads past that. Just to make sure everything's very secure and doesn't want to move around. Just like this. And that is your component right there. So we are going to now, we'll sew up these two little 11 seed beads here. 
and then we're just going to sew into the bicone crystal right here. Now, when we do the pendant, we'll stop right there. But, and I'll show you how to do the pendant, but right now we're going to connect our ear wire. Up two 11 O seed beads, a crystal, and then one 11 O seed bead and drop it down. And then we're going to go through our ear wire. Make sure your ear wire is the right way. We're going to go back through this bicone crystal. So let me turn it the right direction for you. Just like this. And then we're going to pick up an 11 O and a round crystal, or four millimeters crystal, and two 11 O's, like this. And we're going to go back through the opposite side of the bicone crystal and just pull, just like that. Now, sew around this, just through the bicone crystal, through the ear wire, all the way around three or four times to secure it. Okay, so I have sewn around and secured my ear wire. I'm now coming out of the bicone crystal right here after I did my last little round to secure everything. Now, I am going to sew down into the crystal right next to it. I'm going to go through the little 15-0. Right here, if I can get him. First, I'm going to just pull through there. And then I'm going to go through this crystal here. Don't pull it real tight. You don't want to pull things out of whack. Just pull it a little bit. Then I'm going to sew into this crystal here using my original thread path. I'm going to grab the thread bridge right here and tie a little half hitch knot. And then I'm going to sew through a couple of beads in the middle here. So I'm going to go this way. And then you want to follow your original right angle weave path. So we'll go up this way. Now you can sew around as much as you'd like until you feel secure with the project. I'm just going to go ahead and cut off here because I don't want you to watch me sew for an hour. And cut my thread. Just like that. And now I have my earring. And I previously made another one. So there's my set of earrings right there. And we will get started with the pendant next. So go ahead and make another component. Come all the way up to your bicone crystal, the very last step, and exit it. And just stay there. And we will make our pendant and necklace. Okay, so I have made my little component for my pendant. And I'm coming out of my bicone crystal on the top, just like we would have to put our ear wires on. And this time, we're going to pick up eight 15 -0 seed beads. You can use 11 O's to do this. It just doesn't work quite as well. So I've got my eight 15 O's. I'm coming out of this side of my bicone. I'm going to go back into the same side of the bicone crystal that I'm coming out of. And I'm going to pull the eight O's or the 15 O's down into a little loop, just like this. And then I'm going to pick up eight more of my 15 O seed beads. And I am coming out of this side of my crystal, I'm going to go back into the same side, just like this, trying to avoid my 15 O's on the other side, and pull through. Now, you can sew back up through these 15 O's a couple of times, and I recommend that you do. Just sew around them, come through the crystal, sew around them again. I'm not going to do that right now, simply because um, of time. So I'm going to turn this around. I'm coming out of my crystal here. I'm going to go into this little 15 O right next to the crystal right here and then sew into the next crystal, the round here. And pull everything a little bit tight and then go into this crystal right here on my main um, 
work and pull. And then I'm going to go down into this crystal here. And right here, I'm going to grab the thread bridge and tie a little half hitch knot. And then I'm going to sew back up into this crystal here. And this crystal here. Down into this crystal. It's basically sew around um, in the original thread path and secure your thread and cut it off. And there is your pendant right there. Now if you sew through these little 15 O's, it'll straighten them up a little bit. Mine are a little wonky. Okay, so now we're going to go through this. We're going to take our beading wire that we cut previously, and we're going to go through one side of the bale. And then we're going to pick up a crystal. I'm going to use my clear crystals, or my opal clear crystals, because um, I have a lot of them. So I'm going to use them to string my necklace. You can use anything you want. You can put a chain through here. You can do whatever you want, whatever works. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that through like that. And then let's back off a little here. Then I'm going to grab both ends of my beading wire and I'm going to straighten it out and center it. And then I'm going to start to string and I'm just going to use 80 seed beads and my um, opal crystals. So I'm just going to pick up an 80 and an opal crystal and I'm just going to string until I get as long as I want about an inch from the end. I want mine to be about 19 inches long. So I'll go um, as long as I want. I'll, I'll make it about 8 inches and then we'll be back. And I'm just going to alternate crystal and 8 o seed bead as I string. So I've decided to make mine 19 inches long, which I wish I would have left myself a little bit more wire. So when you cut it, if you're going to make it 19 or whatever, make it a couple inches longer than the length that you want to make when you cut your wire. Mine, I can do this, but I should have given myself a little bit more room. Now I've just put a little clip on this side over here that I haven't finished. I'm going to make sure things are centered pretty well before I do this. And they are. They're centered not too badly. So I will clip it at the center here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my crimp bead on my wire. Drop my clasp down, half of it anyway. Let's see. Do I want it this way or this way? Probably. I don't know. This way is fine. And then I'm going to bring my wire around. Now this would be a lot easier if it was longer, <laughs> but. Since I wasn't very smart, I'm going to have to struggle with it a little bit. And there we go. And then I'm going to crimp my bead, or my crimp bead. Make sure both of my wires are lying horizontally here. And then I'm going to cut out the extra wire here. So I'm using a medium. I couldn't go through my first bead, so that's why I didn't slide through a bead. And normally I would like to do that to hide the end of the wire a little better, but I didn't, so. And now I can pull this side and make this tied up here against the crimp and the bead, and then start doing my um, stringing on this side and then I will crimp it, clasp it, and we'll be back. There are a few variations I made of the component. This is basically the same one that we're making today except for I um, moved the colors around. I put the black diamond on the outside. This one I used four millimeter blue and four millimeter clear and then I just put a little dangle from the top 
into with the little fringing sticks into the middle and I used three millimeter pearls instead of a bicone crystal and this one I used the black diamond in the middle the clear on the outside and three little millimeter pearls in between so there are lots of different variations that you can do with this stitch it works fine just play with it and see what you can figure out so I did exactly the same thing on this side as I did on this side as far as stringing the same amount and then I went ahead and um, put my crimp bead on and put my clasp on and this is what it looks like it's a cute little necklace and here are the earrings and that's what it looks like I'm give it a little bit closer and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it's something that you can make fairly quickly and easily so that you can make some Christmas gifts. Have a good day. Bye.